I was in bed, alone. It was night. I remember they had just put me to bed. But the pillows, the pillows weren't just right. And I couldn't move them. I couldn't move them at all. Three months before we had come home from Africa, we summited Kilimanjaro and Mount Kenya. Five years before Aconcagua, the highest peak in South America. No oxygen, ridiculously cold, but determined. And now, now I wanted to move the pillows. I wasn't sure I'd ever move them again. Don't bring a camera, I told my wife when she came to visit. There was nothing I wanted to save. They put in a wheelchair ramp at my home. I hated it. I hated what it said, that I wasn't going back to work ever. That there was nothing I could do. And a few months later, I'm doing physical therapy. I'm taking a few labored steps with a walker. She takes me to one step, 12 inches high. Go up that step, she says. I can barely lift my good leg an inch off the ground. She didn't care. I can't, I said. You can't say that, she said. What? I can't. And my leg went up. Gradually it came, but I didn't believe it, not all the way. I told myself I couldn't shave until I got out of my body cast. I was getting ugly. One day I came home and it wasn't there. The ramp. And then I took off the body cast. For six years I took care of my kids. I rarely took care of myself. I was sick of the government checks. A position opened at my wife's hospital, an administrator. I didn't want it. If I couldn't be a flight nurse, then to hell with it. My wife filled out an application for me. I was pissed and thankful. I got the job. I was back working in the ER and they were busy as usual. I offered to help discharge an old lady out of room four. Hi Stein, this is Denise Adams, Cassidy Adams' mom. Tonight at the hospital you helped an elderly woman named Donna. That's my mom. Thank you for your kindness. You made her feel so reassured. You made all the difference today. Aconcagua's 22,837 feet. That's around 275,000 inches.